Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my April favorites and basically these are just the things that I've been loving throughout the month and I honestly feel like the month went by so incredibly fast and I know everybody has been talking about that but it's it's honestly went by extremely fast and I'm just going to get right into the favorites and the first thing I'm going to start things I'm going to start with are eye products and I have a couple of them. I have the first thing that I've been loving, which I don't remember if I put this in a March favorites or not, but this is the Milani Everyday Eyes palette in the color Earthy Elements. And these are the colors. I've honestly just been loving orange everything, orange shadows, orange blushes, orange clothing. If it's orange, I love it. That's basically what it is. Orange is life. And I feel like I've said that in so many videos, but this is a really gorgeous palette. And if I was, like, traveling or something, I would take this. And that's actually what I use today on my eyes. Even though I think I have a little bit of mascara on my lid, but I didn't... I couldn't be bothered to fix it before I film, honestly. Morphe 35W palette. And this also is very warm. There's oranges in here. It has some plums down here, just a gorgeous palette overall, but it's very warm, and that's probably why it's called 35 Warm. But everybody talked about the 35O palette. I could never get a hold of that, but this is a really beautiful palette, and I really like it. I paid like $12 for this on Hope Look. I don't know if I'm mistaken or not, because I really don't remember how much I paid but yeah I think it was about 12 or 13 dollars and I have a couple single eyeshadows and they're both from Colourpop and I love these two together I'm just gonna say them both together because I love pairing them together but I also love using them separately too and the first one is Lala and I feel like I've put this in a favorites before but this is what it looks like I've done an eye look with that before I feel like and then the color Girl Power, the Super Shock Press Pigment. And this is extremely orange. I hope the camera is picking up how orange that is. But it is a bright, bright, bright orange. And that's going to be beautiful for summer. And I feel like I'm going to use that combo so much. There was a time in April where I feel like I was using that combination literally like at least three times a week. And the last eye product that I'm going to talk about as a favorite is the Wet n Wild Pro Line Felt Tip Eyeliner in the color Dark Brown. And I've been really liking this as opposed to Black Eyeliner because I feel like, honestly, that like it just opens my eyes up so much more and it just looks way better than Black Eyeliner. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the matte black wing, but I feel like this is a lot more subtle and it kind of makes my eyes pop. The next thing I'm going to talk about is a primer and this is the Milani Prime Shield face primer in mattifying and oil minimizing oh mattifying and oil minimizing mattifying is oil minimizing pore minimizing <laughs> but um this is like a silicone primer kind of it's like a very silicone-y this is pretty mattifying and it seems to keep my oil at bay for a lot of the day depending on what foundation I use because of course if I'm using like literally a dewy ass foundation like if I use the L'Oreal Lumi cushion this will help a little bit but it's not gonna keep me from getting oily and then I have a makeup setting spray and this is the hard candy fast and fabulous makeup setting spray and it says it has like aloe and I think it says green tea and stuff in it but yeah and it says it's a weightless makeup spray and I don't think I even put any of this on today but um so I'm gonna put some on right now I just love this setting spray because it's not like dry or anything. Like some setting sprays, like kind of like the Maybelline one, I'd spray it on and it felt like I just put like powder on my face. It kind of dried my skin out a little bit. And I feel like this just adds some hydration. And I don't know what it is with my skin recently, but it's been oily in my forehead, nose area and chin but it's also been dry in those same areas and I I use moisturizer I use like oil on my skin I 
I do sheet masks, nothing seems to really help. My forehead, my nose especially, is always dry. My nose and like this little area is always extremely dry. And this seems to give a little bit of hydration and it also, I do see a, quite a difference in how long my makeup wears as compared to other setting sprays I've used where they did nothing but just took the powdery look away. And for lip products, I have the first liquid lipstick I have on right now and that is the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in Ruffle Trim and this is it on my lips right now. But I'll do a hand swatch. Here's the hand swatch of that. It's like a terracotta, pinky. It depends on what lighting you look at it in, but it's like a terracotta, pinky nude. And then the next one I have is Ofra Americano. And Americano is kind of like just a little bit, a deeper version of this a little bit. Except this one's a little bit more pinky and this one's a little bit more... I don't know why it looks red on camera, but it's like a orange, it's like a terracotta, like deep terracotta nude. It doesn't move like if you were to drink stuff, it doesn't really transfer. But Americano does transfer. It's not one of those liquid lipsticks where you like put it on and it dries and it doesn't move. Like it does, it's easier to move around than this one. But also it is more hydrating. If you don't mind like it transferring just a little bit, then the Ofra lip li liquid li liquid liquid lipsticks <laughs> are um a good match for you. Next lip color that I've been really loving is the CoverGirl O oh Sugar Infused Balm in the color soda. Number seven soda. And this is what that color looks like on my hand. It's this last, like, one here. Like, it's pretty sheer, but you can build it up. Basically, and the formula is basically just, like, very balmy. But this is about as much as I can build up to this end here. That's about as much pigmentation as I can blend it up to. That's pretty good pigmentation, considering it's, like, a balm. So this is a really pretty color, and I've been using that most days. I've just been putting that on, and it gives me some moisture on my lips but it also like has a cute tint. And what that reminds me of, that soda one, it reminds me of the Dr. Pepper Lip Smackers. I have one skincare favorite, and this is the Rose Hip Plus Pure and Natural Rose Hip Oil. And I've been really loving using Rose Hip Oil on my skin at night, and I feel like it just gives a lot of moisture and it calms whatever acne and whatever skin issues I'm having at the moment, but it also doesn't leave my skin like break out or anything. It like really sinks in and it just makes your skin feel so nice. I just love rosehip oil and it doesn't seem to matter which one I use. Like I've used a couple different kinds of rosehip oil, but they all seem to like be pretty good. The Body Shop Body Butter in Moringa and it still has the Marshalls tag on it because I got this from Marshalls. I think I put this in a haul. That should be up on my channel. And this smells amazing. It just smells really good. To me, it smells like honeysuckle, but it's supposed to be Moringa. It smells like honeysuckle to me. It smells really good. And I've used quite a bit of this, if you can't tell. And I just really like it. It truly feels like a butter texture, which to a lot of people might be gross. Like they might be like, oh, I feel like I'm putting butter on my skin. But to me, I don't mind like thick moisturizers and stuff. Like it doesn't bother me. Like because my skin is so dry, especially like on my body, it doesn't really bother me that much. But I really like that. It doesn't seem to mess with my skin. Like I have very sensitive skin and like I literally touch a like single dust particle and I get a breakout so like that says something <laughs> one hair favorite and this is the OGX hydrate plus and repair argan oil of Morocco creamy hair butter and this is what exactly what it says you can leave it in or rinse out I've only ever used it as a leave-in I've been using this and my hair is like really dry right now because I'm on like like literally like last day hair like 
So if it looks bad, don't blame that on this. And it really just makes my hair feel smooth and soft. And then I have one honorable mention because I feel like I haven't formed an opinion enough on it. And I haven't used it enough to say it's like favorite. But I really do like it so far. And it's the NYX First Base Primer Spray. And I like this because like it seems like if you spray it on after like another primer, another layer of smoothness and... It adds hydration when you put on foundation, and it seems like the it come, goes on. And another eye favorite I have is for the brows. And this is the Maybelline Define and Fill Duo. And honestly, I already filmed this whole video, but then when I saw this laying there, and I was like, I didn't even talk about this. And this is like my one of my favorite like brow pencils. And I've been talking about this a lot on Snapchat. I've been really into this. It just gives you those awesome feathery brows. And they just look like, in like in outside, they just look realistic. It just looks like you have full brows to me. And this is just a really good brow pencil. Now on to misses. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is one that I've put in favorites before. When I was like um, younger and I just started out with makeup, kind of. When I started to really get into makeup at first. And this is the e.l.f. Clear Brow Gel. And this is just the dual blended brow gel. And I know it looks like I've used a lot of it, but that's because like I bought it, so I'm just like I'm not I'm just going to use it even though it's not that great. And honestly, this does not that much for my brows. I prefer a tinted brow gel over this because I feel like once I put this on it just takes away the brow color. I feel like it like it almost like drags the brow color off. Like it doesn't make it stay on any longer and I'm not really that big of a fan of it. It's the NYX um, HD Concealer in Green and this is so dry. It is so dry. I do have this on today and if my, if my skin's having like a dry skin day and if I put this around my nose where my, no my skin is the driest, I look like I have literally alligator skin on my nose. I look like the side of my nostrils are gonna flake off. Like, it doesn't look good. So that's why I'm saying this is a miss. If you have not any dry skin where your redness is, then I could then use this. Like, I've used this on acne that's red and stuff, and it doesn't make that look bad, but it makes my nose, which is the part that I really care about. Because I don't care if like a couple acne spots like show through. I just really want the red. I'm trying to cancel out the redness on my nose and around here, but it's so dry. Now on to um, non-beauty favorites and like non-makeup-y favorites. And the first thing I have is a book, and this is Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. And I'm about. I haven't ex I haven't finished this book, but I'm about halfway through this book. Like I'm right there. I really am loving reading this. It just kind of reminds me of how like I would feel and stuff growing up. That's kind of so I kind of like it for that but then there's some parts of it that like remind me of bad things that I felt when I used to be insecure and it just makes me I don't know it just makes me like feel things basically but I really like this book and I would recommend reading it and some TV show favorites that I have are basically Vampire Diaries came back a couple weeks ago and I've been really loving that. I heard I've heard quite I've heard some people say that Vampire Diaries isn't good anymore, but I really like it and it still is very interesting to me. And there's just been a lot of stuff happening that is like a lot and like it's just been interesting to watch like so yeah, I've just been really into that. And another show that I've been really into is The Originals, which is kind of similar to Vampire Diaries, I'm not gonna lie. But I feel like if you like Vampire Diaries, you'll like Originals. And like, my favorite character on there is Klaus, just because like, he be doing the most. And like, it's just like, interesting. The last episode that I saw 
which was the one, I'm not gonna spoil anybody, but like a lot happened, like I was crying. <laughs> and I don't cry when I watch shows. Well, this might be a little bit of a spoiler alert. A couple people died in the past couple episodes. And it was kind of like, and this last one was just very emotional. Another show that I've been really into right now is Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Basically watching that a lot. And it's really funny, like my favorite character on there is probably Titan. Yeah, those are all my favorites for the month of April, and I'll see you guys later, bye!